Hi everyone, I thought I'd do a video today on how I'm doing with the acceptance of my diagnosis. I was diagnosed with Parkinson's about two years ago and um, really when I think about it, I think I've had Parkinson's for a long time, like almost as much as like 20 years. So I definitely probably was early and young onset and not diagnosed, which is fine because I had a perfectly healthy life. Um, up until my 40s, that's when I kind of started to have um, major problems that probably I should have been diagnosed at, at that point, but that was really a little bit my fault um, for not going in. I didn't have health insurance, but to cut a long story short, um, we're talking about acceptance of the diagnosis today. Um, so at first I was really happy about the diagnosis. And that may sound strange to many of you that that don't have Parkinson's, but the problem with Parkinson's is that there's no definite test, so it's a clinical diagnosis. So that means that they have to like test you for everything else before they can say you have Parkinson's, unless they're really, really sure that you're displaying um, some of the classic symptoms that people with Parkinson's have. But if you're not, they kind of wait until, to be honest, you get a little bit <laughs> bad so they, they can say, yes, you have Parkinson's. So that's kind of what happened to me. So I was really happy with the diagnosis at first just because I didn't know what was wrong with me. I had kind of thought that I had Parkinson's, but everyone I talked to said I was too young and that I didn't have any tremors. But yeah, I, I was excited just because, you know, now I wasn't crazy that there was something wrong with me and it was something serious and I just wanted to move on from there, you know. I didn't want to be tested anymore. I was sort of like happy with my diagnosis at first. But that kind of changed and what I'm dealing with now is that I don't know if I fully accepted it. I kind of go back and forth. At some points I accept it and I don't think about the Parkinson's, but then some periods I do think about it a lot and how it's affected my life. And the ways that the Parkinson's has affected my life isn't all like negative. Like I guess a lot of people would think it's negative, but it, it has been positive and for those that are way younger than me, um, think about a couple of things. One thing to think about is that you may have a long time before your Parkinson's symptoms actually affect you. If I think about it, and I said this at the beginning, so I'm sorry to repeat myself, but I probably had Parkinson's for about 20 to 30 years and was totally unaware. I did notice some things that but I kind of thought that everyone had the same problem, but they didn't, looking back. So I was able to do a lot, and you will be able to do a lot, even more than, than I'm able to, because you know you have Parkinson's, so you know your limits, and also you know how to be super focused on what you want, and what you desire, and people in your life. Because with Parkinson's, you know that you cannot be stressed, and there's not a whole lot of energy for a lot of different people. So you'll make wiser decisions with your life than, um, than you know, older people with Parkinson's. So that is one thing to remember. So don't get too over-focused on Parkinson's if you're a teenager or in your 20s. Um, back to my acceptance. The reason I think it goes back and forth during different stages is that the Parkinson's disease, it, there's, there's no cure, and that bothers me, but I think the, the most issue I have with the acceptance is that the disease progresses. And even though we're told it progresses at a very slow rate, especially in young and early onset, I almost feel that I can like feel the progression. And sometimes what happens is that because your symptoms are always changing. You go through periods where you're 
worse than other periods. Like I'll have a week that I get like new symptoms and I'm bad, but there's always like that thought in my head of is this just a symptom that's going to go away? Is it going to be not so bad or is it going to stay and have I progressed? And that's kind of one issue I have a hard time with the acceptance because it seems like I can accept it easier if it were if the Parkinson was just going to stay at that stage or if it was a disease that, you know, you get sick and then your sickness is always the same, but our sickness is not never the same. Um, so it's always, the acceptance level is always changing. I also have a hard time accepting it because it seems to me like it's really suddenly dramatically changed my life. And I think, you know, that everyone has a, a, a hard time with the acceptance of the diagnosis. But I'm wondering if younger people have an especially hard time because I'm not saying that it's easier if you're older. I know it's just as hard, but your life is, is a little bit more set than a person in the 20s, 30s, 40s, or 50s. I mean, maybe I'm assuming it is, but, but it's, it's got to be like you've done most of the things that you want to do. But with the younger generations, and I'm, count, I'm not counting myself as that young, so I'm kind of like in the middle. I am, I do count as young or early onset, but I'm sort of older than a lot of people that are, are watching this video or may watch it later. But when you do have young or early onset Parkinson's, it kind of like surprises you and you're not really prepared for it. So it it's, sort of seems like your life just stops or you, have, or you have to like remake your life or have set different priorities. And again, that's all, not all negative. It, it's very good because it does focus, focus you on what you want and don't want in your life, but it's also very hard to deal with. So yeah, I guess <laughs> I'm not doing that great with acceptance. It kind of goes back and forth. So one thing I do think is that if you're having a hard time, it's not something that you can easily gain acceptance overnight. From everything I read um, from other people with Parkinson's and talking to other other people that are older, it did or it does seem to take a long time to um, gain acceptance of the diagnosis. So that's kind of like all I have on this topic. If you have anything to add to this, any ideas on how to help with the acceptance, please leave it in the comment box because it is something that I'm dealing with now. So that's it. Thank you.